now Rhode Island lawmakers are considering a group of bills designed to prevent murderers from getting out of prison early. If they were in place right now, convicted thrill killer Alfred Bursette would still be behind bars. He's a free man now after serving less than half of his sentence for murdering a woman just to see what it felt like. Iowa to Sue's reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with more live in the newsroom. These are bills that have come up before. Sponsors say they're hopeful they'll pass this time around. When so-called thrill killer Alfred Brissett was released from prison, he had served 13 years of a 60-year sentence with 35 to serve. Number one issue is public safety. Several lawmakers say Brissett's case is just one example of why they're pushing for a package of bills that would keep convicted killers in prison longer and keep track of them better if they're paroled. We want the prison sentences to have meaning. We want them to stick. Hopefully, we want those sentences to be a deterrent. The first bill would change parole guidelines to ensure first and second degree murderers who are sentenced to life with parole are not eligible for parole until they've served 30 years. The second bill would make first and second degree murderers who've not been sentenced to life serve at least 50% of their sentences before they're eligible for parole. And the third bill would create a murderer registry similar to the sexual offender registry. Right now the system is broke. I can tell you the criminal justice system is failing Rhode Island families and I think this is a good first step. Lawmakers say the cost associated with these bills has not been studied. Today, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin released a letter in support of the bills. In the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.